the world a dream? Is everything around us an illusion created by some god to test us? The moment Dr. Michio Kaku addressed the newest revelations from the James Webb Space Telescope, a palpable shift ran through both scientific communities and the broader public. The renowned theoretical physicist, often celebrated for his work in string theory and his accessible commentary on space and time, had remained notably reserved about the unfolding discoveries from the telescope. But as new data emerged, a specific shocking image captured by Webb that appeared to upend fundamental assumptions about the universe's origins, Kaku finally broke his silence, marking a watershed moment in how humanity perceives the cosmos. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The James Webb Space Telescope had been returning breathtaking images and data ever since its deployment. Designed to peer deeper into space and further back in time than any previous instrument, Webb has illuminated the earliest galaxies, complex star formations, and regions previously cloaked in darkness. But among these marvels, one image, stark, cryptic, and laden with implications, stood apart. It wasn't merely the aesthetic of the image that drew attention. Though it displayed a densely packed galactic field in what appeared to be a surprisingly mature arrangement, rather, it was the unexpected nature of the galaxies captured within the frame, massive, structured, and fully formed at a time when the universe should have still been in its turbulent infancy. According to the standard model of cosmology, galaxies of this scale and complexity should not have existed so soon after the Big Bang. Yet the Webb image, targeting an area of space previously beyond the reach of the Hubble telescope, revealed galaxies that seemed to challenge the very timeline of cosmic evolution. They appeared to be over a billion years older than current models could accommodate, suggesting that either the universe is older than calculated, or that galaxy formation occurs at a much faster rate than previously understood. These possibilities alone were enough to jolt astrophysicists into a renewed urgency to revisit existing theories. When Kaku finally spoke publicly about this particular image, his words resonated not just because of his reputation, but because he tapped into the deeper implications it raised. This wasn't simply about moving dates on a cosmic calendar. This image, he explained, hinted at a structural rethinking of the entire cosmic timeline. It forced physicists to consider what had long been treated as immutable constants. The speed of cosmic expansion, the uniformity of matter distribution in the early universe, and the very processes believed to govern how complexity arises in the universe. Kaku, a firm proponent of the multiverse and higher dimensional theories, used the web discovery to underscore an idea he had long proposed that the observable universe may be just a sliver of a much larger, perhaps even infinite, multiverse. The galaxies observed in this image seem to exhibit gravitational behaviors and formation patterns that, while explainable in isolation, became increasingly improbable within the narrow framework of the standard model. It was as if the universe was offering a glimpse into a realm where time, gravity, and structure did not behave as expected. The implications of the image ripple far beyond the technical. If galaxies could exist in such mature forms at a time when matter should have barely begun to coalesce, what does that say about the true nature of time itself? Are the fundamental forces of the universe as stable and universal as once thought? Or do they fluctuate across different regions of space? Kaku pressed the notion that time might be more elastic than linear, hinting at the possibility that certain regions of the early universe may have developed faster than others due to local variations in dark matter, dark energy, or even quantum fluctuations that initiated many inflationary pockets. Even more provocative was the idea that this image might be our first indirect observational clue that another universe had collided with ours. In cosmological models that entertain the multiverse theory, collisions between universes could leave telltale imprints, abnormalities in the distribution distribution of galaxies, unexplained anisotropies, or gravitational signatures that deviate from known patterns. The image captured by Webb, in its strange density and inexplicable order, might just be the first cosmic fingerprint of such an event. What electrified the conversation even further was the suggestion that this wasn't just an anomaly to be catalogued and forgotten. Rather, it demanded a rethinking of physics itself. The image, while beautiful, was unsettling. It challenged the idea of a slow, linear cosmic evolution and pointed toward a universe that may be far more dynamic, layered, and unpredictable than previously assumed. For decades, cosmologists had relied on the Lambda Cold Dark Matter Model LCDM, 
a framework that provided remarkably accurate predictions until now. Webb's image seemed to be the first crack in that once solid wall. If galaxies can form this fast, then the nature of dark matter, long assumed to play a central role in cosmic structure, may need revisiting. Perhaps it behaves differently at different epochs, or perhaps it interacts with other, as yet unseen, forces or particles. Kaku emphasized that this finding opens a doorway to an entirely new field of inquiry, where the building blocks of the universe are not static but evolving, and where physics is not a fixed discipline but a living framework in motion. The shock waves didn't stop with galactic formation models. The image also had implications for the concept of entropy and the arrow of time. In thermodynamics, time moves in one direction, from order to disorder. But if structure and complexity could arise earlier than expected, might there be a local reversal of entropy? Could the early universe have possessed zones where entropy was minimized or even reversed, creating pockets of rapid order? Kaku speculated that such conditions could arise under exotic conditions involving high energy fields or quantum anomalies left over from the Big Bang. This raised another tantalizing hypothesis. Perhaps these galaxies were not from our universe at all. In some speculative interpretations, what we observed might not be ancient galaxies formed quickly, but foreign galaxies bleeding into our observable sphere through gravitational lensing or dimensional overlap. If this were true, Webb's image would not just be a window into time, but a window into another universe entirely, where physics played by different rules and time itself might flow differently. The potential of dimensional overlap intrigued Kaku deeply. As one of the foremost proponents of string theory, which posits the existence of up to 11 dimensions, he used the opportunity to link Webb's findings to the possibility that some of these dimensions are not purely theoretical. If higher dimensions exist and intersect with our three-dimensional space at certain energy levels or gravitational thresholds, then Webb Webb's powerful infrared lens might just have glimpsed into a folded corner of space-time, an interdimensional corridor, so to speak. That suggestion, while speculative, lent new urgency to ongoing efforts to probe the cosmic microwave background for anomalies, to refine gravitational wave detectors, and to re-examine fundamental constants. Because if these constants can change, if they're not truly constant, then the bedrock of modern physics begins to shake. And shaking foundations is exactly what this image has done. It has unsettled comfortable models, demanded humility from theorists, and rekindled an adventurous spirit that had been largely dormant since the early days of Einstein and Hubble. Kaku's interpretation also recontextualized earlier mysteries, such as the so-called axis of evil in the cosmic microwave background, an unexplained asymmetry that some researchers have long dismissed as statistical noise. But what if that anomaly and others like it were early hints at a more chaotic or structured pre-Big Bang state? What if time, rather than beginning at the Big Bang, had merely shifted direction or scale? The image even reignited discussion around the hypothesis of a cyclic universe, a cosmos that expands, contracts, and repeats in an eternal loop. In this view, the galaxies in question might not be young at all, but remnants from a previous cycle, preserved or reborn in the next iteration of the universe. The arrow of time might reset, physical constants might recalibrate, and matter might retain some memory of its prior state, explaining the unexpected maturity of what should be primitive galaxies. To the untrained eye, the image might look like any other galactic snapshot. Beautiful, yes, but not especially disruptive. But for those who understand the rigorous scaffolding upon which modern cosmology stands, it is an iconoclastic revelation. It is the kind of image that causes textbooks to be rewritten, careers to be reoriented, and paradigms to be reassessed. The sheer improbability of such structured galaxies existing so early, with such density and gravitational behavior, is a cosmic mystery with no ready explanation. As Kaku emphasized, the universe is not a static painting but a living tapestry, one that might be woven from threads we don't yet understand, threads that twist through extra dimensions, fluctuate with dark energy, or respond to laws not yet discovered. The Webb telescope, he argued, is not merely a tool for observation but an oracle of sorts offering visions of realities that stretch the human imagination and scientific understanding to their limits. The shock lies not in the image alone, but in what it represents, a confrontation with the unknown. 
This was a moment of scientific humility, an invitation to tear down what must be torn and rebuild a deeper, broader, more nuanced understanding of the cosmos. Kaku's decision to speak on it after a prolonged silence gave that invitation an added weight, signaling that this image may indeed mark a turning point not just in observational astronomy, but in theoretical physics itself. There is no simple, tidy resolution to the questions raised by Webb's shocking new image, and that's precisely why it matters. Theories will be tested, new models will be proposed, and perhaps some will fail spectacularly. But in that failure, in that stretching of intellectual limits, lies the progress of science. Kaku, never one to shy away from the big questions, leaned into the uncertainty, not as a sign of weakness in our knowledge, but as a sign of its evolution. This moment, catalyzed by a single image, has turned the cosmos from a well-mapped territory into a frontier once again, a place where anything, truly anything, might be possible. And perhaps, as Kaku alluded, that's the most exciting outcome of all. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on what James Webb's shocking new image will reveal? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.